So what I'm doing is actually incredibly stupid walking out here with this t-shirt on and normal jeans and whatnot. Let's see here. What do we got? We got zero right there. Get that. There we go. We got zero and then the next big line down is ten and the red is right in the middle. So we're going to say about negative five. Negative five degrees and we're not going to even, it's not even as cold as it's supposed to be yet. So let's go take out this uh, starter to remove this block heater again. See why it's not working. Um, I plugged it into an even more reliable power source this time. It's been plugged in for three hours. And uh, the block heater, even the block heater itself, hasn't even warmed up in the slightest or even the middle around it. It's still all ice cold. So it's about 20 degrees outside. Um, I tried to remove this when it was negative 5, and I physically couldn't. So we'll try it at 20 degrees. It's a lot warmer than uh, the first time I tried. Okay, I just got the top bolt out. It's all the way up and back in there and just really bad stuff. So I got these two bottom ones and then this remote wire is long enough. I got this off when it was negative five out and this is all I was able to do because my hands like literally everything I would touch like like this if it had any kind of water on it or something I would do that it melt and then my like you've seen the videos where someone freezes their tongue to a pole well, my hands would do that to the tools, and you just can't do that very, very long until you get too frustrated that you want to kill something. So, huh. uh, I'll get these last two bolts out and uh, see what's see what's up. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to leave the camera there. It's actually gonna stay awesome. There's some little trick to this to getting this this thing out. I'm trying to remember it. This big heavy ass thing. Let's put a cross member right in the way of getting this out. And it's, you know, it hurts to hold it. Obviously, it's cold. There it is. I got it. Yay. Oh god. Oh god. It's heavy. It's heavy. Not really that bad. There's the top bolt. I, I just got something in it. Ow. That hurts. Oh, it must be rolled salt or something. Ow. So I can grab this now. Let go of my camera, motherfucker. There's the block heater. Right there. Might be saying to yourself, hey, that looks like brand new. Yep, it is. I did trace the wire out. And the wire's fine. It holds voltage all the way through it. We're just not getting anything through there. So, in order to take this out, I have to drain the antifreeze now. Which is so not, so not cool. I don't really want to do that, but I got no choice. No choice in the matter now. Okay, while that's draining, that'll take forever. Might as well show you the, uh, the leak we have running down the side here. Um, head gasket's leaking. Head gasket's leaking antifreeze now. It's actually draining down all the way onto this. And, yeah. Because Fords are so awesome. You know, Fords are number one. I remember one thing to be in a shop and being fixed all the time. Okay, there's the block heater again. Um, it's a little tiny Allen head there in the center. Uh, so let me see if I can uh, do that right now. As you can see, there, it's actually different. Most of these I've seen the cord plugs in on the back side so you can change the cord. This is a weird ass one where the cord goes straight into it. It's kind of lame. Okay. Now that has leaked everywhere, I can finally pull this bastard out, I think. 
That would be a negative. I can't pull it out. I need a light. Where's my light? Come here, light. Work light. You're supposed to drain the block before you take that out, Tom. I didn't have to last time. Okay. And if you look at the little freeze plug plug thing there, it's not exactly uh, just going to come out on its own. <sighs> okay. Just got it out. It's hanging there. Light. Let there be light. There's light. Uh, oh, no, it's a metal casing, but it definitely uh, wasn't uh, the problem there. Just lost a piece down in here. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh! It's a little thing that spreads out and whatnot. For that. Okay, just got done washing the flip. After getting antifreeze all over it, as you can see, the block here is plugged in. Plugged in right now. I just got done washing it. Right, it's plugged in. It's been plugged in for a while. It's ice cold. You know, it obviously doesn't ground because you know it's got 120 volts being put into it. Uh, there's the O-ring. O-ring is still in good shape. Uh, probably voided, voided the warranty taking it out. As you can see, what I had to do to take it out, it uh, fucked itself up. So, I'm just going to get another one. You know, I'm not going to even fight with the warranty thing because, you know, now the warranty's definitely voided now that they've done that. So, uh, but it doesn't work. You know, I shouldn't be able to touch it. You know, that's 600 watts right there. Uh, I probably need to go with a different brand. Um, and try to find a higher wattage one that will actually warm the truck up. Um, it did work. I used it three or four times and it did work and now it doesn't. So it's definitely uh, was, it has a manufacturer defect or they're just not that strong. I don't know. But I gotta get a new one. And I'll take that starter and have it changed again too for the third time.